Do you know about the second most active volcano in the Philippines? Today, we explore the intriguing and fiery history of Tal Volcano. Nestled in the province of Batangas, around 50 kilometers south of Manila, lies the formidable Tal Volcano. This stratovolcano holds the title of being the second most active in the country next to Mayan Volcano, located in province of Albay, a testament to its restless energy. Tal Volcano is known for its unique feature called a volcano within a lake within a volcano. The main crater of the volcano contains a lake known as Tal Lake, which houses the smaller Volcano Island. Volcano Island itself holds its own crater lake known as the Main Crater Lake. This intricate geological structure adds to the volcano's allure and makes it a popular tourist destination. This caldera is filled by the serene Tal Lake, creating a breathtaking juxtaposition of tranquil waters and volatile volcanic forces. The entire Tal Volcano Island is a designated permanent danger zone, a constant reminder of the inherent risks of living in the shadow of such a powerful natural phenomenon. The area has witnessed increased seismicity, elevated lake temperatures and deformation, all signs of potential volcanic activity. So, now that we know what Tall Volcano is, let's delve into its eruptive history. Tall Volcano's eruptive history is as fascinating as it is intimidating, with significant eruptions shaping not only its landscape but also affecting the surrounding regions. Our journey through history starts in the 16th century when the first recorded eruption of Tall Volcano took place. This initial explosion set a precedent for the volcano, marking it as one of the most active in the Philippines. Fast forward to the 18th century, and we find the most violent eruption in Tal's history. In 1754, the volcano erupted so violently that it formed a new island in the center of Lake Tal. This eruption lasted for a staggering seven months, and the ashfall was so extensive that it reached as far as Manila, over 50 kilometers away. The 19th century saw a flurry of activity from Tal, with 30 eruptions recorded. The most notable of these occurred in 1845, which caused a tsunami in Tall Lake and resulted in significant loss of life. Moving into the 20th century, we come to the 1965 eruption. This eruption was unique because it was a freedomagmatic eruption, meaning it was caused by the interaction of magma with water. The eruption resulted in the creation of a new island which was named Volcano Island. The most recent significant eruption occurred in January of 2020. This eruption resulted in ashfall over a large area, affecting Manila and other surrounding regions. The eruption led to the evacuation of thousands of people from the area and caused significant disruption to air travel due to the ash cloud. Throughout its history, Tal Volcano's eruptions have not only shaped its landscape but have also had significant effects on the surrounding areas. The responses to these eruptions have varied but have often involved evacuations and the implementation of measures to mitigate the effects of ashfall and other hazards. It's clear that Tall Volcano's eruptive history has had a profound impact on the Philippines. But what's happening with it today? The most recent significant eruption occurred in January 2020, reminding us all of Tall Volcano's active status. This eruption was a stark reminder of the volcano's power, spewing ash into the sky that reached as far as Manila, some 50 kilometers away. The eruption led to the evacuation of thousands of residents in the surrounding areas, impacting not only the human population, but also the local fauna and flora. Following the eruption, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology declared the entire Tall Volcano Island as a permanent danger zone. This designation means that the area is off-limits to human habitation due to the high risk of sudden violent eruptions. Despite this, some locals continue to live and work on the island, their lives intricately tied to the volcano's unpredictable rhythm. Since then, there have been signs of potential future volcanic activity, increased seismic activity, elevated lake temperatures, and ground deformation all point towards a restless volcano. Scientists continue to monitor these indicators closely, trying to predict the volcano's next move. Even though Tall Volcano's last eruption was four years ago, it's clear that the volcano is far from dormant. The constant monitoring and ongoing studies serve as a reminder of the volcano's potential for sudden explosive eruptions. As of now, Tal Volcano remains a point of interest and caution for both locals and scientists due to its unpredictable nature. Despite its dangers, Tal Volcano's scenic beauty and unique geological features continue to attract visitors from around the world. It serves as a reminder of the raw power of nature and the ever-present risk associated with living near active volcanoes.
Tal Volcano is undeniably a fascinating natural wonder with a rich and volatile history. Nestled in the province of Batangas, it stands as the Philippines' second most active volcano. Its eruptive past is marked by significant events like the ash-filled eruption of 2020. Today the entire island is a permanent danger zone with signs of potential volcanic activity. While Tal Volcano poses potential dangers, its unique features and intriguing history continue to captivate us all. Until next time, keep exploring our amazing planet. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel.